Hi guys, it's me Karen and we've come back for part two of this beautiful heart we're doing in the Hannah Carlson uh, Magical Dawn book. And we are going to um, work on the uh, gem piece here. And I've decided that we're going to do um, the setting in sections. Okay, so we're going to do the outside here in purple and then I'm going to uh, do a little bit of the pink tones right here and then this line here was going to be black and then here is going to be um, gold with a gel pen and then we'll do the gem in all the colors that are here. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice. It's doing the weird thing it does during the winter time when the snow hits. We're, we're not going to go too much uh, detail on these. We're just going to do a darker on the inside here all the way around and we're going to skip uh, one of the tones and just go straight in with the gray lavender and bring it up. So it's the same as what we did on the ribbons, but we are leaving out the um, Parma Violet. Since this is a very small little detail, we're just going to use the two colors and get them blended together. And we're going to do that all the way around. When we get to this bigger one here, I'm going to make it dark on both sides. Hope I'm in camera here. <laughs> and then just bring it up. And around the top. like that. Make sure we get all the color in there. So I'll do another little portion here. And when I do a lot of coloring of the same thing, I just go around and do the one portion of it and then come back and do the other portion of it. It's just a little easier so I don't have to keep switching pencils all the time. So you get the hint on how I'm going to color these. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how I'm going to do the um, the uh, pink one. So we got to get the pencils for that. We're only going to use two for that also because we're even going to get smaller here. So we're going to go with the um, black raspberry and the beige rose. So we'll go in with the um, black raspberry and on these I'm just going to kind of draw a line across here. getting into that little scallop but we're staying close to the other line and then I'm just going to bring the other one in and do a little circle here. It catches just enough of that to give it a blend and pull the color up a little bit.
So that's how the pink part is going to be done. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll go all the way around doing the same thing. Okay, then we're going to take um, a black pen, if I can find my black pens. Sorry about that. I have a couple up here. And I have one that's a, a brush tip, and that's the one I think I'm going to use. So it's a um, Faber-Castell artist pen, pit pen, soft brush tip. So it just has a, a real soft brush tip, and we're going to go in here and around, and I'm just going to use that to make this black. And leave those little uh, roundish parts. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. But we're going to leave those in there. I like this pen because it has such a, a nice little tip on it. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just use it to use this as a black line here. So around these edges and going up. Okay, so in these two areas, I'm going to use a gold pen in the little scallops here and the little scallops here, and the rest of all that is the gem or I'm going to make it the gem. <laughs> I don't know if it is, but that's what I'm going to do with it. So we're just going to go around this whole area here and just keep doing that. Just going to get this side here done. I'm going to show you up to this point here. So I might as well get that part finished for you. Almost done here, and then this part. Here, traffic. Just wanted to get this finished up here. Okay, so I'm going to take this up a little bit more up here. Okay, now I will get the, um, the gold gel pen and it's the uh, hybrid dual metallic uh, from Pentel and I will make sure it is running and working always nice <laughs> we're gonna take it in here and we're gonna add the gold right in on the scallops on here The little thing that comes up here. And we're also going to use it on the scallops in here. 
It's always nice to put a little glitter on a page, huh? <laughs> okay. We're also going to add some uh, stickles in here, but that comes later. Love these pens. The silver one is really awesome too. But I've been using it a lot, so I thought I'd use the gold. There we go. Okay. So that'll be done all the way around the gem. And then I in these little uh, little spots here and these little spots here. I'm going to go ahead and use a stickles, but I can't use that until I'm done with the gem. Now in the gem we have to use uh, a lot of colors to kind of tie everything in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, a little bit of the purple. I could do this all... no, purple. Don't second guess yourself, Karen. <laughs> I'm going to put in some lines here, just like I did on the last one. Kind of triangular angled lines where the sun would hit. I'm doing it with the darker color so you can see it. And just a couple of them there. And we're going to color one in in purple. And a couple of them in purple. Because we're going to be catching the light from the purple ribbon. So we have a shiny gem. So we'll do three I want to keep it an odd number, so if I do five of them, it'll be okay. I'll do this section here. So I'm doing it dark in one corner and then bringing it out lighter. Okay, then we will take the uh, Parma Violet. We're going to add some of that in there just to bring some of that color in also. I just could bring a line in here. Then we'll bring in some of the grayed lavender. And just kind of bring it over to the next area here. And this one, we're going to bring it up to both. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to get the uh, red colors, or the pinks, and we're going to add them in over here. Kind of blend it in there with the purple one too, if you like. And we're going to bring some of that up. I'm going to add some over here. And over here. Now to bring in some extra color, a same tone. This is just plain raspberry, number 1030. And it's just going to add a little more red to this.
and then we will go and add in the um, rosy beige and bring out that color I'm kind of just bringing it into the other colors and blending them all together. Bring it into the middle kind of lightly. Because we're going to have a splash of color light hit that. Okay. Then we want to bring in, and I think you're going to think it's a funny color, but we're going to bring in some of the green. So we're going to go with the green ochre. And we're going to go down in this area here, kind of bring it up a little here, bring it over on this side. The green ochre has that bit of gold in it that I want to reflect in here. Okay, then we're going to take our white, my poor little white. <laughs> And we're going to blend all of this, or burnish it, whatever you wish to use this term for. And I'm sorry if the camera is wiggling, I just noticed that. But we're just going to blend it all, burnish it all together. Bring any of that color in, out and around. So you want to change your pencil or if you wanted to do your strokes the way you want to do it, you can definitely just go one way. But I'm going to bring it in all different angles so it blends in and covers the whole gem in white. I need to brush that off. Okay. Then if we add any other brightness or colors that we want to, we can bring them in and give them kind of an angle. And you just want to play with it until you get the look you want. At least that's how I do this. <laughs> I've seen a lot of other people do gems a whole bunch of different ways. But this is the way I, I get it done. So I'm just going to make sure that all of that is blended together. Okay guys, um, the camera stopped so I'm going to tell you what I did here. I was blending it with the white, right? Okay, and I was rubbing it in. Then I took my finger and I just rubbed it around like this just to give it a little extra blending. And then I took this uh, stump thing and just kind of ran it in the directions of these lines here and pulled it up any color that was down here and then went this way with it. Okay, sorry that didn't get filmed. But I'm also going to take my eraser and I'm going to add um, some of those lines going this way. I'm going to try to be straight so I'm going to get something I can hold there. <laughs> so I'm going to go upward a couple of times right about um, this tip to this tip is what I'm going to try to do here. Okay, then I just turn on the eraser and I'm going to hopefully get it down on the paper here and give it a little an erase. 
Now, because I've blended this with my finger, this eraser may not work as good as it should. Okay, and I will fix that part momentarily. I will also stick one down here. My battery's also going out on that. Okay, so I'm going to just take this edge and I'm going to run it up there and there, there, and there. And I know there's a lot of wax buildup here. And there was color on that. So I'm just going to go in here with my white and mark those in a little better. Okay, just like that. We want to give it a little shine. I'll go around with the white on these areas also because there's a high shine on the corners. I'm going to try to get it to go in there. If it doesn't, I have a Posca pen. And any of that that I don't want, I can scratch <laughs> with my finger. I do all sorts of stuff to get it to, to do what I want. I will go around with my Posca pen. Um, don't know if this is the one that works, but I'm going to try. It's got liquid in it, so what I'll do is just kind of go up the side and let it go and then get another corner of it. Same with this piece. Just hitting it where I think the light might hit. I'm also going to take it down the areas that I just... Sorry. Now I'm going to have a first aid car go up the street. Hope nobody got in an accident. It's not the safest thing to drive in the snow. Okay, so I'm also going to put one of these big stars on here, and I think I'll do it down here in this corner. And I'm not the best at this either, so I'm going to try to straight line up. And we have a line that goes over, so we'll just cross it there. Here, make it a little darker. Make this a little longer. Have it come down into here. Give it a little shine there. Well, I went too little too far, so. Do that. Maybe a little star up here. Okay. Then all I'll do is I will um, finish the outside of this, but I wanted to show you again that we are going to do the outside uh, with the Distress Ink here. So I will go ahead and get that ready. When I come back, this will all be finished, and then we will do the inking on the outside. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and use the Distress Ink. I went ahead and did the black around um, the gemstone. And I also, those little uh, boxes, I went ahead and blacked that in also. And then did the rest of the coloring out here. So I'm going to just do the Distress Ink. And it's the um, Victorian Velvet. Same color as I did on the other ones. I'm going to use the mini distress tool and I'm going to ink that up. I am going to use a piece of scratch paper just to make sure that I've got the right amount. And one of the things I always asked is how I don't get these um, circles. Okay. And I always kind of try to tell you every time I do this that I only ink half of this round and I always use it at an angle and I come in from some place that is dark already. Don't put it directly on your paper or you will end up with one of those just sitting there. 
So say there's a flower here, I would start on the flower and then I would bring it in from the flower and I ring it as in a circular motion just on one side. And then I just blend the inks together. More ink you put down, the darker it'll get. So start off as a light, light touch to begin with. And then you can go over it again and get a darker color. So all I'm going to do is get the corner of the ink and I'm going to start um, inside. It also pull outside. So I'm going to go up here to the gem and then I'm going to pull some of this pink down. And you'll notice the color I didn't color in here is going to pick up the ink color, which is cool because now I don't have to use a pencil in there. I'm also going to drag that color from this position outward so the outside will get some of this color too. Okay. And yeah, I end up with some of these uh, lumps or whatever you want to call them. Not exactly um, soft and whatever you want to call it. I do end up myself with these little markings on the paper. And I like the look of the Distress ink um, with the splotched effect. So I always add a little water on it and that takes away any of those unappealing blobs people don't like. <laughs> I don't mind them. Anyway, I'm hoping you can see all of this. I'm just taking the ink, laying it down, pulling it as a light outward from the gem. So all these little pieces that I didn't color are all getting the Victorian velvet put on them. And then I just pull it up and out. And if I want more color anywhere, I just set it down someplace that's in a penciled area already. And then out we go again around the whole heart. And we're going to give it that nice little pearly Victorian pink color on the outside. Now the little dots uh, that they have out here, I'm probably just going to use stickles and add color to those. And I am going to put water on this page and give this a splattered effect. So I kind of want that um, a little darker in some areas. So I'll just push it in there a little darker in some spots. And then just bring it up in and out. Okay, that looks good to me. Now the um, gold pen that I put down will sparkle up your pad. That doesn't bother me. I've had these for years. And the next page is just going to get a couple little sparkles on it too. Yay! I like that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a washcloth that I have here. And I'm going to get the spray bottle. And we're just going to Give it a spray and then wipe it up. And we get that nice little splattered effect. Now we didn't use any distress, or uh, not distress ink, but any ink pens on this, minus the uh, gel pen. So I'm trying to stay away from this section. And all I want to do is pick up some of the Distress ink so I don't need to be. Yeah, I said get away from that section and I just sprayed it. it. Picks up a little of the gold, but I can always put more on if I want. Okay. And there we go. We have this nice splattered effect. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see that. You can see it pretty good. Okay. And then I'm also going to use some white paint and splatter that. If you'd like to see how I do that, 
it's on the last video probably. <laughs> um, I can link that down below. And I'm going to uh, put stickles on it now. If you noticed on the flower, I put gold in the center of this one. And I'm going to do that on all of those there. Stickles in the, the little circles here. And then splatter it with some white paint. And I will show you the uh, finished picture at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like the videos, put a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe if you haven't already, thank you for all your support for those who have subscribed. And um, if you want to ring the bell, if you want notifications, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.